broken the ice bed! Hi, I'm Michael Moore, and welcome to a very special episode of The Awful Truth. Now, as you can see, I'm not in a Times Square tonight, and so obviously we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I've made a, a short documentary film, and it's going to have its world premiere here tonight. You're going to be the first people to see it. And uh, it, it all began back a few months ago when I woke up and realized we were inside another miserable election year. And uh, we've got all these people running for office. Uh, we don't like any of them. There's no choice on the ballot. People aren't going to vote. And yet this is a democracy. So what's wrong with this picture? Well, that's when I decided to make a picture about it. And that's what you're going to see right here. So dim the lights, sit back, get out the popcorn, put some chewing gum down on the floor, and enjoy for the next half hour this short film. All 435 members of Congress are up for re-election, and at least a quarter of these congressmen face no opposition in their primary elections. I mean, they literally are just going to run unopposed and automatically go back into office. I think that's wrong. This is democracy. We're supposed to have a choice, right? I want to propose that we, us, this show, run a candidate for the United States Congress. I've identified a congressional district out in the state of New Jersey. This is the guy who's the congressman representing it. His name is Rodney Freelingheisen. All right, he's in his third term, no opposition in the primary uh, election, and yet nobody wants to run, and nobody wants to vote. We're going to have one of the lowest turnouts ever in this election this year, all right? And it's not because Americans are apathetic. It's just because the lousy-ass choices that are on the ballot. Well, I, I, I want to say that maybe on this show, we can start to turn that around. get 200 signatures. That's it? Um, well, 200 to get on the ballot. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have to yeah. register in Trenton. So we'll, we'll, get, a, we'll get 200 signatures and uh, we'll, we'll uh, that'll, that's a, I mean, that's a cinch. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Michael Moore and uh, we're gathering signatures today. Would you mind signing this? I'd be delighted. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Registry yeah. voters? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Would you sign this petition, please? Sure. Can I get your signature on this petition here? Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, don't forget uh, June 6th. We're here to uh, turn in uh, petitions uh, for okay. the 11th Congressional District in New Jersey. Okay, if you'll sign your name right here, please. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't use that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. It's a little, a little messy there. Oh, sorry about that. This is Ficus, and Ficus is running in the 11th District. It's been properly signed. Now what do we do? Uh, you need to fill out this form over here. Well... It's the plant that's running. Meet the next congressman from the 11th District of New Jersey. Ficus! 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 Is the Ficus registered to vote in any county? Oh, well, that's not Because you one. have to be a qualified voter to uh -huh. run for office. That's major number one qualification. Qualifications, right? 25. The Ficus is 25. Citizen of the U.S. for seven years, yes. Resident of New Jersey, yes. And if you look right here, sir. Who did this, though? This is the state of New Jersey? The state of New Jersey made these rules, right? I was on the state of New Jersey in 11. Mm -hmm. I have a qualified voter. This is, this is yes, state law. 19. You know what, though? You know what's great about this country? Federal law. <laughs> See? 210 people signed these petitions. Residents of the state of New Jersey who want this potted plant representing them in the next Congress. I understand. She's already stamped them. See? They got stamped. I can tell you, sir, if it's not registered, you can't run for office. If people write in like us, mm -hmm. uh, uh, would you count those votes? Oh, certainly. Thanks. We'll see you as a write in. Hey, write in. Write in Canada. All right, that's what we're going to do. Strom Thurmond went in as a write in. And there's another one, Packard, a uh, Republican from California. Strom, you mean the senator from yes. South Carolina? Yes. He won as a write in. No, come on. Yeah. Yeah. We couldn't register, but we can still do the write in. And, it, and we can win. I mean, right. there's a precedent for that. I don't know. We're going to win. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Moore. And I'm here today to announce the candidacy of Ficus here for the 11th District Congressional seat in the state of New Jersey. This Ficus plant is entering the race because we believe the American people deserve better. Thank you very much. Ficus! Ficus! Vote Ficus for Congress. Vote Ficus for Congress. This Ficus will accept no contributions. This Ficus will accept no PAC money, no soft money. No favors from lobbyists. Vote FICUS! This FICUS will accept only water, 
clean air, and a little sunshine. Does this ficus talk back to you? No, this ficus will not talk back to you. So far, so good. We want your vote on June 6th. For the, for the plant? For the plant, no yes. Problem. Vote ficus on June 6th. I will. We get your vote for that? I'll vote twice. Well, we're running the ficus for Congress here from the 11th District. Okay. We think we need, we need a, a potted plant in the House. Okay. We do no worse than the politicians are already there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd like to get your vote on June 6th. Who are you, who are you backing? Well, I'm backing the ficus. Ficus for Congress. Ficus in 2000. All right, all right. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm not aware of the issues. This is your candidate, Congress. This is my candidate. Tonight in one corner, a three-term congressman from New Jersey. In the other, a three-foot ficus tree. Today, Moore announced the tree's intentions of running against Republican Rodney Frelinghuysen, who was running unopposed in November, at least until now. I guess, Kimberly, you'd say that tree has, its bark is worse than its bite. <laughs> what do we want them saying when people say, is this a joke? You know what? No, no, this is a joke. Well, no, it's a real problem. I thought we'd had this conversation. I know, no, we have, we have, we talked about it, but it's, it's something, it's an issue that's going to come up again and again when your candidate's a ficus. There are two candidates, Freely Housen and ficus. We do hope that you consider <laughs> um, writing in for ficus. Definitely voting for ficus. You are voting for ficus. Conference. Where's the editor? Thanks. Putting fluff ahead of substance is not the way to be taken seriously. Okay, I'm going to call these guys. Okay, good. Good. I just got a, a copy of, of the uh, editorial that you guys ran. Uh, you familiar with it? Yes, yes, I am. Are you the one who wrote it? Yes, I did. And that, that was the, that's what we called it, okay. adolescent right. stunt, right? Yeah, you called it adolescent stunt and fluff, and we were trivializing things. I mean, is this how you really feel? I mean, you know, we're trying to be... Well, know, if they're going to you know, write editorials about us, we should have a meeting with their editorial board. So we're here to meet the editorial board? Let's go. Okay, great. Thank you. And it's not just any pilot plant. It's a candidate. So long, guys. <laughs> Sorry, no, no cameras. We would like your endorsement for the ficus, and you're welcome now to ask the ficus uh, any questions. Okay, what's your position on tax reform? Dude, that's the beauty. You're not going to hear anything. Have you seen this? this is what? The ficus is being pulled in New Jersey. Oh, really? Yeah, politics NJ. Jesus! Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. We're killing it. Unbelievable. Yeah. 88% for ficus and 11% for Fahrenheit. Yeah. Unbelievable. We believe that a potted plant in Congress will certainly do no worse than what's already there in it's Congress. It's a broadleaf uh, plant. Uh, this species is called the weeping fig because we deserve better. Write ficus in on the ballot. We are running uh, this ficus tree for Congress uh, this year, and uh, we'd like your vote. Well, that's a nice project. We're going to elect this ficus tree to Congress. Oh, And we'd like your vote. Y yes. My final request is just to please make sure that all the votes uh, for ficus are counted. Win or lose, the ficus is always welcome here in Morris County. Thank you. I don't want to interrupt anything, but we got some uh, spots we'd like you to have a look at. I need you to make a decision one way or another yeah. about how we're going to go with all this stuff. Okay. Candidate Frelinghuysen has never produced oxygen in his life, and try as he might, he never will. In fact, well, what do you call really the stuff that comes out of you when you're breathing? Carbon dioxide. It's not oxygen? Ficus. No. And take you don't like the oxygen you breathe in the oxygen? Paid for by you the you blow out the oxygen. You produce carbon dioxide. Okay, plants are just the worst. They take in the carbon dioxide. Where is the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide produced at? In your lungs. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in this. <laughs> I mean, way, but carbon dioxide, isn't that what, if you like, if you leave the car on too long in the garage with the door shut? That's monoxide, carbon that's monoxide. The ad can go. No, no, I, you know, I, 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 you guys seem to all know what carbon dioxide is, you know, and oxygen, so I just say, just run it the way you got it. The ficus would like to challenge Congressman Frelinghuysen to a debate, uh, anytime, any place. This is not his campaign office, and uh -huh. obviously, if this tree is running for Congress, yes. that would really be a campaign issue that uh, Where's his we campaign wouldn't necessarily... Office, uh, he hasn't have he doesn't have one set up in uh, uh, Morristown yet. There's no campaign office because he doesn't need one, does he? Is there any way that you leave could call the congressman right now in Washington and and tell him that he's been challenged to a debate? Uh, no, this is the office in D.C. Oh yes, okay, we've got Donna Mullins now on the on the phone, uh, Rodney's chief of staff. Hello, uh, we want to challenge him to a debate uh, here in the 11th district, the Ficus versus Freelinghuysen. 
No, no, we're very serious about this. We will dog the congressman until he does uh, face the ficus and, uh, and, and debate the ficus on the issues that are important to the people uh, here in New Jersey. Do you, do you guys, do you guys, you think you're just going to like, just like go right back into Congress without having to put up a campaign? You've got this opponent that's running as a Democrat and a Republican. It's going to challenge you. Hello? We don't understand why the congressman is afraid to debate this ficus. I'm certain this will only guarantee the congressman's defeat um, on election day. I've never seen one elected official be able to do photosynthesis. Not one. Right, they, run, they, run another, uh, they run another editorial on us here. We denounced the idea as an adolescent stunt. Stung by the criticism, the ficus plant came calling last week. Okay? So right. I told you it was good to go there. Yeah. Right. There is some merit in Moore's argument about voter apathy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but we still question whether running a plant is going to make things better. Well, see, at least they're questioning. The primary is June 6th. That gives Moore, who has established a campaign office in a Morristown pizzeria, about five weeks to convince us and the voters mm -hmm. that the ficus for Congress should be taken seriously. All right. Whoa. Huh? All right, huh? Great. Huh? Woo! So he didn't, yeah. he didn't. Here's your pizza, sir. Thank you. Vote ficus. Here's okay, here's our campaign strategy. If Freely Heisen goes negative, we don't go negative, we go positive, all right? If he goes negative again, we come back positive again. If he goes negative the third time, we come back with a double negative on him. He might go positive at that point. If he does, we give him a triple negative, double positive. He won't know what hit him. Got it? We read in the paper that Congressman Freelandhausen said that he's a, a red oak Republican. Absolutely. Why was he pandering to the plants? By saying that he's the, a red oak. The congressman also has a good sense of humor. Well, we didn't take that as a as a as a as no funny, offense. As very funny. No offense. All you due know, respect. We want to keep. Got a good sense well, we want to keep the ethnic slurs out of this uh, <laughs> campaign. All right. To slam the ficus with a comment about an oak, we thought was uncalled for, and uh, we've asked him to not participate in this kind of negative campaigning uh, from now until uh, June 6th, and to rise above the politics of personal destruction. The question is, do we want to do it this no. soon? That's that's what Clinton he learned that in '92. You know, is you got to you got to strike back right away. Congressman Frelinghuysen doesn't know how to fix our education system. Frelinghuysen doesn't know what to do about taxes. Congressman Frelinghuysen doesn't know how to make health care more affordable. Let's face it, Frelinghuysen doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. Vote Ficus. His ass is a hole in the ground. Paid for by the people for the Plant Committee 2000. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. State Assemblyman Neil Cohen from Union County. I'm pleased to be here to endorse this ficus for Congress. Mr. Freeland Heisen has been very bad on plant closing, and we feel that, that ficus will much, do much better on the issue of plant closing. I think that the Republicans and Democrats that are disgruntled, and they're, they're in the majority, should really come and vote for this candidate. Did you hear about this? Someone's running a ficus in Texas. You haven't heard this? No. You kidding me? Look at that. This What's is this? The, uh, the ficus in Texas campaigning. Is that Texas. amazing? <laughs> this guy is running this ficus in what state? Texas. Texas. And he lives in that trailer. Yeah. If somebody is running a, a ficus against Representative Bud Schuster, <laughs> a Pennsylvania Republican. That is incredible. Wow. All right, put a pin in the map for yeah, Lancaster, yeah, Pennsylvania. Got, got Ohio. We got Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. Oh. We got one in, in, in Virginia. Virginia. This is unbelievable. This is like completely out of our control now. I think somebody's got to take responsibility for all the other ficuses that are running around the country and somehow get a handle on this. Is there any way you can go down to D.C.? You can take some of the ficuses from the other campaigns around and just have them meet the guy, the, the, the congressman they're trying to unsee, you know? What do you mean? You mean like take the actual ficus in the Congress? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Meet your opponent, the ficus. In the, in the race this November, the ficus will oppose you on the ballot. The ficus will. You don't want to run unopposed, do you? Well, uh, yeah, I do. I'm telling you, he's a hell of a debater. Congressman Gigas, Michael hey. Moore, how you hey, doing? How you doing, pal? Meet your opponent, the ficus. What's that? He's running for Congress against you. Would you take a ficus, though, as your opponent? Uh, if I guess it, no, I, your I, wouldn't, opponent, I no? wouldn't want to make fun of the existing opponents. I, I take opposition very seriously. Is that your camouflage? No, no, he's running for Congress against you. From the heart of the tri-state area, you're watching News 2. Filmmaker Michael Moore, the man behind the movie Roger and Me, is staging a write-in campaign for ficus trees. He'll run them in 21 congressional races, including the one in Morristown, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Sarah Richardson. I'm the campaign manager for the ficus, running for Congress here in the great state of Texas. We support the ficus. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the potted plants, the ficuses of election 2000. We've got a chance to really uh, say something very important. And that is that the people of this country are sick and tired of these two political parties posing as two political parties. It's one party. So we've given people a chance to write in ficus on the ballot all over the country. It's a way to say none of the above. It's their way to say I'm sick and tired, I'm not going to take it anymore. It's the f you vote. It's the f you vote this year. Write in for ficus. People of Forest County, you can write in for ficus. We appreciate your support. Ficus, 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 ficus. ficus. Maybe those are the ficus. Ficus is a lot less pretentious and really high than and a whole lot easier to spell. Right in ficus! By imagination, the Republican has not taken our campaign seriously. So he's in DC. He's, he's not even gonna show up? No, he's not even gonna he's not wait, even wait, wait. He doesn't have a campaign headquarters. He's but, not campaigning. So you didn't run a campaign the primary? He didn't open a campaign headquarters and you're not even gonna show up for the election. <laughs> The secretary for the town clerk just called in to say that she voted for FICUS. Oh. All right, you hear that? Why aren't they reporting the 11th district? You know the reason we're not seeing any results from the 11th district? Why? Well, we've totally f with their heads. They have no right. idea how to deal with it. They don't know how to report this. They don't know how to report the potted plant. They've reported every other one. We just got the first uh, results in from a, uh, a town called Victory Gardens. Ten people voted for the Republican, Freelingheisen, and there are 40 more votes that are write-ins that the uh, clerk is refusing to count. The, the county clerk uh, is saying we won't count the, the write-in votes uh, unless we feel like there's a need to. You know exactly what's going on. Freeling Heisen got 10, and Ficus got 40. Ficus wins. Ficus wins Victory Gardens, you know, and they don't want to count the votes. You're not counting the write-in votes tonight? They'll be coming in, but we didn't have time to, you know, to count them but up. We've already, no, we've already found out that Victory Gardens, 85 people voted. We have it right here on this piece of paper. Ficus got 40 votes and Freelingheisen got 10, Ficus yeah. wins. But we're not focusing on the write-in votes right now. But, 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 I, wouldn't you, but wouldn't you be concerned if the, if the congressman only got 10 votes yeah, but, I and mean, then there's 40 write-in votes? A human being, I mean, you know, this is a little bit mean, you know, when it comes to politics. I mean, it's, I mean how can you actually have that represent you in Congress? Because I believe that the majority of citizens in Morris County would rather have a potted plant in Congress. Uh, than what's there right now. Well, I respectfully disagree with you, but that's what, you know, no, America's all about. The, the people in the county who went to vote, you know, to not count their vote 
is so disrespectful in a democracy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's, there, there's nothing yeah, well, more we're important than voting. The, all the election results for all of the candidates that are on the ballot right now. So uh, when well, I well, find out about, you know, the write-ins for this tree, I'll let you know. Yeah. They were talking to us when the ficus was behind. Now that the ficus is possibly ahead in some precincts, uh, they, they will no longer uh, talk to us or give us the uh, vote counts. Thanks. Right? Okay, thank you very much. Are you going to investigate this? No. You're not going to investigate this? No. You're the, you're the journalist from the Daily Paper. I, I have more important things. We believe that there's a fraud going on here. Got I've got it. the police are here. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Good. Um, we believe that they are violating uh, the, F uh, the FEC law, federal elections uh, law. You're in, a, you're, in, you're in a town of Morristown right well, now. Uh, that's not you. That's not me. No. Oh, what are you guys doing here? We we're dropping off our votes. Right, did you vote, though, today? Yes, I did. Did you vote for the ficus? Uh, I have no comment. All right. I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very sir. much. <laughs> you're welcome here, but they said that they're not going to count any plant votes. They're not going to count any... Well, it's not a plant. This is a candidate. Can I just speak frankly? You have a county clerk who's the former chairwoman of the Republican Party here, and the Republican tonight only got 10 votes in that one town, and the plant got 40. And that's embarrassing to them. And that's why they're not counting them. The place to take care of that is in the court. Okay, who, do, who do we go to that? Well, you have to go to, you have to put in a complaint to the court. Judge, uh, this is Michael Moore, Judge. What happened here is that the first votes came in and the writing candidate uh, beat Congressman Freelandheisen in that district. And uh, that's when they stopped uh, giving any more results. It's against the law. I mean, they, Ballots are to be counted in the open, um, not behind closed doors. You all hear a complaint first thing in the morning. Yeah, so we if we have to do that, that's what we'll do. Okay, let's go. The ficus concedes nothing. <laughs> the ficus makes no concession speech. The ficus makes no speech. So because the ficus cannot concede, it therefore must proceed on throughout the country. Welcome back to The Awful Truth. Well, listen, uh, that's our show tonight, a little slice of America uh, in this uh, great and miserable election year. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in Times Square next week right here on The Awful Truth. Good night, everybody. Every vote